September 28th is World Rabies Day, and that's a worldwide, sort of a UN-wide World Rabies Day. Um, and the theme this year is Together Against Rabies. Once a human starts showing symptoms, or any animal starts showing symptoms, it's pretty much fatal. And it's one of the biggest killers of people in third world nations. It's not something most Americans are very familiar with anymore, outside of, I have to take my dog to the vet and get a rabies shot. We are bringing some dogs out, showing some people what they do, and then also educating them on the risk of rabies in Afghanistan um, with the wildlife, and it is here. It's very, very severe. Historically, World Rabies Day is one of the Vet Corps' sort of pulpits because we act as the Army's real resource of information about rabies. Because not only do we do the vaccines on the animal side, we also deal with animals that may potentially have rabies. So it's really our area of expertise. Being here actually in a country where human rabies is a big deal, um, people die from it every year, we wanted to come out and do an uh, event with the whole UN community. Awareness is very important. We don't want anybody to get sick, to die from rabies. Um, animals don't show signs for, at times, six months plus. So just because you see an animal that doesn't look like it has rabies doesn't mean it doesn't have it. We had um, the soldier two years ago who died from rabies that he actually got in theater. He was exposed in theater. He never told anyone. And then by the time he started showing symptoms, it was too late for them to do anything about. And we don't want that to happen to anyone else or anyone else's family. We put up some visual aids on what is really going on here. So we have symptoms of rabies in animals. Most animals that contract rabies or have rabies are not the Cujos that you see. They're actually these cute little puppies that will have it and they will lick you or they will bite you. We needed a way to get people out here to sort of spread the word about rabies. And since dogs are our big carrier of rabies in this area, in Afghanistan, in most of the Middle East, um, we got in touch with our military working dog handlers and our contract working dog handlers and had them bring the dogs out. Um, and so they did a scent demonstration on how the dogs detect different odors, a bite demonstration for the dogs that are trained for patrol work. And then some of the nicer dogs who enjoy strangers getting all in their space uh, volunteered to get loved and hugged on a bit, which uh, they, they quite enjoyed. So it was a good little vacation for both the soldiers and for the dogs. There's a cool website and it had all the logos and everything, like every language you could think of. So since we are NATO here in um, Kandahar, we decided to incorporate that. Most people aren't very excited about diseases like rabies. Um, and especially from the American standpoint, you know, back home it's a disease we kind of have beat. We know how to prevent it, we vaccinate our animals, we take care of people. If someone gets exposed to a rabid animal, we make sure they get all their treatment. Um, and if people are treated, if they're vaccinated after exposure to a rabid animal, it almost 100% prevents the disease. That's good news.